Hallelujah. Shake somebody's hand. And say, where's the program? Oh, that's right. This is a Holy Ghost church. We don't have a program. Appreciate the Lord. God's getting us ready for something, saints. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe he saved the best for, for the last. That's what the scripture says. Is that right? That's right. We appreciate the Lord tonight for this service and for what God is doing. You know, I really appreciate the Lord because I know, you know, I pray for Brother Blue and I, I know you do too. Every day. Uh, I mean every day. Him and Sister Wendy. And, um, you know, that scripture came to me in 2 Corinthians, and it kind of scared me because it talked about uh, not testing somebody ability of what they're able. But there was two things that God promised. He promised that to either escape or to give them what they need to bear. Mm. You know, I believe that if Brother Blue wanted to escape, he could escape. Hallelujah. But rather than doing that, he's bearing it so that he can bring us the word of what you heard this morning. Hallelujah. Because not everybody's preaching like that. And you can want to, but that don't make you capable. But we know that that word, when you're, like I talked about earlier, when you're like a tractor, not like my tiller, not like my mower, not like my hoe, but it went in like a tractor. And it got to grounds that I can't get to. And that's what I'm asking God to do. Lord, get to the grounds in me that I can't get to. Yes. How many want you want God to get deep in your soul to that part that you can't get to? And when we open our hearts to this word and let God really know that we surrender, he'll send an anointing. He'll send a word. He'll send a message that'll change our lives. How many believe that? Yes. Praise the Lord. Stand on your feet. But we get ready to come. You know, in Tulsa, but we preach the message called the incorruptible seed. And that was back in, you remember that? That was back in the 80s. Yeah, around 84, that's right. And he took an avocado and he cut it open. And he demonstrated to that avocado about that seed being inside. He got through preaching about that incorruptible seed. I knew right then that I needed something that I did not have. I knew that I needed to draw God, draw not to God in a way and know Him in a way that I have not known Him before. Yeah. Praise the Lord. There are places that the Lord wants to take us. We can't be satisfied with what we're at. Can't be satisfied that we already got it, yeah. that we already know it. You know why? Because the Bible said they didn't hunger and thirst. You can't thirst if you're already full. Come on, come on. You can't hunger if you're already full. Right. But if you can humble yourself and realize, oh, I don't have everything in you that I'm supposed to have. Right. I'm striving, but I ain't there yet. Right. I ain't what I used to be. Hallelujah. But I ain't what I'm supposed to be either. Hallelujah. And I want to get to that supposed to be man. How about you? I want to get there where I'm supposed to be. Hallelujah. And I know tonight that we'll reach out and let God touch us. He can give us a miracle. He can do miracles. We've seen it time and time again. So if you've got a need tonight, you need a healing from something. If you need an answer to a prayer, you're in the right place tonight. You know why? Because there ain't no celebrity. Hallelujah. Because there ain't no celebrities here. We all the same. Hallelujah. The only celebrity here is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So we ain't worried about it. Hallelujah. Who dressed the best and who sang the best and who shouted. Oh, we don't care about any of that stuff. 
Hallelujah. We just want Jesus to be lifted up. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. And tonight, let's open up our hearts. And let's reach out and touch God tonight. And let God do a miracle. And if you don't need a miracle tonight, reach out for that person next to you tonight. Maybe they need something in their lives from God. you believe that? Lift your hands to heaven. And close your eyes. Help me to sing this song. We'll just reach out. And touch the Lord as He goes by. You will find He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. Jesus is passing. together with your people Lord to receive strength to receive comfort edification direction and that our faith may be established greater in the things that pertains to your word Jesus help us to draw close to you you told us that if we draw nigh to you you would draw nigh to us. Lord, we ask for your strength. Touch the body of Christ. Touch the body of Christ. Thank you, Father. And all the special needs. And all the special requests. And all of our children. Grand and great-grandchildren. Touch them. God, don't let their little minds or spirits be corrupted by this perverted spirit that's trying to corrupt this generation in Jesus name those that are sick those that are fighting 
things in their bodies, their homes, their families, their children. Touch them, their marriages. Heal the relationships. Heal the broken hearts. Heal the troubled minds. Strengthen them. Cause your people to rise above the storms. God, that the enemy is trying to wear them down with. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, you, Lord. I thank
I said, look out, uh, Jimmy Swaggett. You know, he patterns himself out of Jimmy Lewis, uh, uh, Jimmy Swaggett and his cousin. Jerry Lewis, yeah. He's got a good talent, too, CJ does. But, uh, appreciate uh, him bringing y'all here with him tonight. And I appreciate the rest of you coming back. I know we have church more than the average people here on Monday nights, prayer, and Tuesday nights, our regular teachings, and Wednesday nights we been having prayer meeting and Friday night young people, Saturday morning, you know, and then Saturday night being up in Tulsa on Sunday. So we are, have a, a constant going for the Lord. And uh, that's what he wants us to do. Don't he? Don't give the devil no space. You know, if I was to give no place to the devil, so we try not to give the devil any place. And uh, shake someone's hand. Tell them it's good to see you in the house of God. Good to see you in the house of God. Appreciate all this good anointed singing. Amen. I got a chance to get in on just a little tail end of it with the uh, Sims family. But... Uh, Since, uh, but we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to go ahead and see this off and then go right into it for scriptures. <laughs> 